Dolls can mean a lot to many boys and girls. They can become friends and companions. But there are tales of dolls that have taken on a life of their own. These once innocent toys are now believed to be possessed with spirits or demonic spirits. These are the top five harrowing stories of haunted dolls. Number five, the voodoo zombie doll. Resembling something from the darkest corner of your nightmares, this voodoo zombie doll originated in New Orleans and was sold through eBay to a woman in Texas. The eBay listing gave specific rules to abide by while owning the doll. These rules included not removing it from its silver casing, a rule that the woman broke as soon as the doll arrived. She would come to regret that decision. The woman claims that the doll haunted her dreams and would violently attack her. She relisted it on eBay several times and succeeded in selling it, only to have the new buyer receive an empty box while the doll kept reappearing at the original owner's doorstep. The haunted doll is now in the possession of a haunted collector who hopes to figure out its mystery. Number 4. Joliet What would you do if your family's legacy was a haunted doll? This is the case for a woman named Anna, who is the current mother to a baby doll named Joliet. For four generations, the women in Anna's family have been cursed to keep up a cruel tradition. Each daughter gives birth to two children, a boy and a girl. In each case, the son mysteriously dies on its third day of life. Anna has been told Joliet was given to her then pregnant great-grandmother by a vengeful friend. Soon afterwards, her great-grandmother gave birth to a boy, only to have it die on day three. Unexplained giggles, footsteps and inhumane screams are heard in the middle of the night coming from the doll. The family claims the cries of different infants can be heard, making the doll appear to be a vessel for all the baby boys lost over the years. Number 3 Elmo. Since 1996, the famous Elmo dolls have topped the holiday toy list of children worldwide. There's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to children's toys, until they threaten to murder you. This was the case for the Bowman family. Back in 2008, two-year-old James Bowman had an Elmo Knows Your Name doll. The doll was programmed to recite its owner's name, along with various other personalised phrases. This particular doll, however, not only knew James's name, but would include the word kill before it. Many times, this Elmo doll would sing, Kill James, repeatedly, until James's horrified mother, Melissa, decided to put the doll out of sight and away from the toddler. The doll then began spewing death threats after its batteries had been removed. Fisher Price, the manufacturer, offered the Bowmans a voucher for a replacement. Number 2. Robert Robert was given to an artist, Robert Eugene Otto, in 1906 by an unhappy servant who practiced black magic. Throughout his childhood, Otto's parents would pick up on him playing with and conversing with the doll, assuming he was replying to himself in a disguised voice. Neighbours claimed to have seen the doll moving from window to window when the family was out. Sometimes the doll would emit a blood-curdling giggle and the Otto family caught glimpses of it running from room to room. In the night, Eugene would scream, and when his parents ran to the room, they would find furniture knocked over and Eugene in bed, looking incredibly scared, telling them that Robert did it. In addition, guests claimed to have seen Robert's expression change before their eyes, and he often blinked. When Eugene died in 1974, the doll was left in the attic until the house was bought again. The new family included a ten-year-old girl who became Robert's new owner. It was not long before the little girl began screaming out in the night, claiming that Robert moved about the room and even attempted to attack her on multiple occasions. More than 30 years later, she tells interviewers that the doll was alive and wanted to kill her. He is considered one of the most haunted objects in the world. Number 1. Annabelle Annabelle is considered to be one of the most haunted dolls to have existed. Annabelle currently lives in the Warren's Occult Museum, located in Connecticut. Her lock case is holy water encrusted. The Annabelle doll was given to a girl named Donna by her mother in 1970. Donna and her roommate, Angie, noticed that the doll would switch positions and move around the apartment when they weren't looking. They began finding messages on parchment paper that read, Help me, even though they did not keep parchment paper in the apartment. 
They brought in a medium who concluded that the doll was possessed by the ghost of a girl who was buried underneath the apartment. Lou, who was one of their friends, had some frightening experiences with the doll. He awoke one night from a bad dream, but something didn't seem right. It was as though he was awake but couldn't move. He looked around the room but couldn't discern anything out of the ordinary, and then it happened. Looking down towards his feet he saw the doll, Annabelle. It slowly began to glide up his leg, moved over his chest, and then stopped. Within seconds the doll was strangling him. Paralysed and gasping for breath, Lou blacked out. He awoke the next morning, certain that it wasn't a dream. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Those are my five favourite haunted doll stories. If anyone would like to share their own stories about haunted dolls, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.